hello, hello. How are you? How is everybody doing today? <laughs> Hi, Martin. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Julie. Hi, Sue. Hello, Sheila. Choi Choi. Choi Choi. Our friends say hi, Choi Choi. What are you watching? <laughs> hi, Miss Linda. Hi, Leona. Happy Sunday to everyone. Yes. How's everyone doing? Hi, Donna Sue. Good to see you. How are you? Oh, my Lord. What a day, what a day, what a Sunday. Hi, Helen. I know there is e, an event going on today. Uh, so, well, you know, it's always interesting when there's an event going on, an all-day event. Hi, Miss Edie. Hi, Tina. How are you? Oh, my goodness. All righty. So, today we have to get back to our little gingerbread family um and then um the wheelbarrow so i am it's not too bad actually not too bad uh i have laundry to do still and i have to cut trevor's hair um in y'all you know laundry it's just not this it's not fun i don't like laundry this is my least favorite thing to do hi sue russin how are you Okay, so we have our gingerbread family. Sorry about all the lights. Um, if that's annoying, let me know and I'll put down, uh, I'll put something down. Um, and I did, um, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I did put the second uh, step of the fine line crackle on the wheelbarrow. So we will age this up a little bit and we still have to do the stencil for that so um and then you know decorate so i think that's that's all oh we have yeah right just decorate and paint the rest i think that's it i think that's all um so again this was the iod the new release the ginger and spice um mold so let's um, first. I wanna I wanna tackle the wheelbarrow really quickly because that's gonna be easy peasy, and we will get the umbra out. I just put lotion on my hands. Why I would do that? Right when I know I have to open stuff. Oh, I got it. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you. I know. You know, crackle just. I'm working on some other projects that I can't tell you guys about really too much right now, but, and it's just, oh my God, I, can I crackle this? Ah, I got to crackle this. <laughs> it's like crackle just makes it better. Just makes it better. Look at, I have a habit of grabbing. Oh, that scared me. Something fell on my foot and it felt really it was remember my birthday sash thing that I had for the decoupage queen birthday. It like brushed over my foot and it gave me like the willies. Hi, Lynn. Hi, Miss Wanda. How are you? I'm decoupaging wooden pumpkins and squat. Ooh, that's going to look very good. How's Holly, girl? All right. So let's. Bring you down a little bit and. We know the underneath was that, like, the creamish color. So I think what we'll do here is go in first with the umbra. And then I also have the white just to kind of get in the cracks and brighten that up a bit, too. Oh, I'm going to say, did I really not pull down a towel? Thank you, Miss Wanda. All right, how's everybody's weekend so far? It's coming to an end. Are we getting ready to get back to that, you know, lovely work week, school week? <laughs> I can't believe it's October 1st already. Just nuts. Nutty, nutty, nutty. Um. 
Troy, Troy and I are after this. Oh, that was what else we have to do today. We have to pack up the boxes for the few folks that have signed up for the class. Because I want to get whatever we can out now. So we have boxes and then what else? I'm going to try to put off laundry as soon as long as I can, but you know. That can't happen. Hi, Dana. Thank you. All right. So I don't know if you can tell. Oh, there you go. Um, the umbra is in there. And now let's kind of go in with a little bit of the white. That'll give us a little bit of the, you know, the depth from the shadowing. I'm gonna get underneath that lip a little bit. And then we'll come in with the white. So, and then this is the same thing, just the antique paste. I did, hi Jamie. I know, I do too. I feel I'm gonna be using it a lot for like Christmas and stuff too, cause it's just perfect. So Jamie messaged me last night and she was like, um, where's your Amazon store? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I haven't done that yet. So I, was, I said, you know what? I actually, I need to do it. So I do have on my link tree, my Amazon store. Now you will be able to see. There's a ton of stuff in there. Look at that. There's a ton of stuff in there. Because y'all know the Amazon man comes all the time. <laughs> I didn't put the phone cases or anything because that would have been super long. But yeah, all of the crafting and the supplies that I use from Amazon are all basically in there. Um, I need to clean it up, though, because some of them overlap. There's, like, only two categories right now, and some of them overlap with the products that are in the categories. Just because at first I was like, I'm not going to make categories. I'm just going to stick it all in there. And then I thought, ah, uh, I better make it a little bit easier. So if you go in and see, you will find everything now, basically everything. You're welcome, Jamie. <laughs> it was it was kind of funny. It was really a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. When you asked me, I went in there and I was like, God, this is going to take forever. And then it actually wasn't bad at all. So I should have done it a long time ago. There we go. Look at that. How cool. Let's get the back a little bit. Oop, wrong one little bit more and that wheel now because this is the fine line crackle right and there's no water-based products we're going to have to stencil it on when we do the stenciling you know and make sure that you're not using a water-based product to go through the stencil right so just keep that in mind. I bought the glass mate for glass mat for my table. Oh, I it's I'm telling you, um, it was the best. It I was so excited about it that it was like, oh, I can't wait to craft so I can craft on my mat. It was that silly. I was so excited. Um, all right, so let's grab this stencil really quickly. And like I said, I'm only gonna just use I'm just going to use the fresh daily or maybe not. Maybe we should just do like the leaves. I, I don't know why I was thinking fresh daily. Like if they were on like a pumpkin ride, pumpkin patch ride. I don't know what you guys think. Um, I was just going to, I don't know why that caught my eye to put there. I'm looking at all of the other. Because I just kind of want something here. 
Maybe we'll just do the little leaves. A kid threw some cheddar cheese at me. I thought that what well, that's not great. Are you serious? Hi, trees. Hi, Susan. Martin, are you serious or are you is that a joke? How obnoxious if you're if that's serious. Oh my word. I hope that you, I'm missing like a joke or something because that's awful. What do you guys think? Should we just do this instead of the fresh daily? Oh, Martin. B, Lordy B, good gravy. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Hi, Marianne. <laughs> Groaner dad joke. <laughs> Leave it to me. Okay, so again, because of the way the stencil is, and because I'm going to use the wax, I am very lightly going to spray on some tacky spray. Oh, uh, you got me, Martin. You got me. Hi, Miss Kathy. How are you? So I just used the repositional tacky spray. Now, you don't want to use a lot of this if you need to explain. <laughs> Sue, Sue Resin, if I could, I would have. Because I even said, like, did I miss the punchline? Just reading it and not really thinking about what I was I, I walked right into that, straight into that. Okay, so I just, you seen, I just barely hit that with the tack, <laughs> Miss Linda. And then um, just want to wait a couple of seconds. Thank you, Miss Kathy. <laughs> All right, and then again, because I don't know if you guys remember, but there was two, yeah, see the little knobs right here am i dark or is it just me you guys i don't know why facebook does this but on the screen on my screen it looks dark <sighs> thank you trees all right so i'm actually going to stand up for a minute and we've got All right, and then I'm gonna give it a push so that it will stay down as much as possible. And tap into my gold wax. And now, again, if you were swirler, by all means, I feel like whenever I swirl, my bristles from the brush get underneath the stencil and it becomes a hot mess. Um, but you know, sometimes it, it's that that's fine. That look is fine, but I'm just using a smaller stipple brush. If you don't have a smaller one, you can go ahead and, you know, use some blue tape to tape it off. Um, like the fresh daily up there, or if it happens to get on there, just use the um, transparent wax and it'll come off. Good afternoon, Cheryl. Hi, Kathy. Kathy, I was on your live the other day when you were doing the paper mache. I think it was a lamp or something. Um, I was busy and I was trying to get over and say hi but but i was there Ooh, y'all what a good idea no i'm not falling for you anymore martin look at that oh that looks good y'all 
Choi Choi, Miss Kathy says hi. All right, so let's do that again. So let's put that kind of thunderwear. You are too much, Martin. You are too much. I can't believe I fell for that other one. I was like, the nerve of those kids. How dare they? <laughs> All right. Let's get this side. Oops. Sorry. Brim of my hat hit my camera. Oh, and you know what we can do is go through our totally dazzled bling and maybe put um, the pumpkins or something from that pack on the outside here. Oh, yeah. We'll figure out something to put on that. Because I have two packs, um, so we can do the same on each side. Oh, look how pretty. I'm glad we did that instead of the words. Okay. Thank you. So now, um, I'm just, there was a glop. See that? Blurp, blurp. And then I will spray this with my, um, ow, stencil spray, and that'll clean right up. There goes another bruise on my knee, y'all. <gasps> I need to put, you know, the kid, the, um, you know, how they have those, the corner bumper, the corner bumper, so the kids don't run into the corners. I need that for my desk right here. Sheesh. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Look at these. Um, let's take these out. So we have... These are too small. That's kind of cute. That would be. Hmm. Oh, boy. Ooh, look at that apple is really pretty. Oh, wow. Okay, y'all. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Let me take these out of the wrap so you guys can see it. So we have the, the pumpkin, cup of poo, cut a poodle noodle for the corner. <laughs> cut a pool noodle, poodle noodle. What is wrong with me today? That's a, not a bad idea, but my long legs over here just get in the way of everything. All right, I kind of am liking the apple just because it's kind of going with our colors from our people, our gingerbread people, and it's not so overpowering, but these are all very beautiful. So, oh, here mm -hmm. comes the pudding man. You're not the muffin man, but you're the pudding man. Why don't these snap right? Okay. Here you go, baby. Let me have this spoon. Um, Onyx would eat it. They tend to crack under pressure. Oh, here we go again. Yes, the apple. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Thank you. Hi, good morning, Jesse. Oh, you guys. I don't know what's been up with these doggone pudding snack packs lately. Even Troy can't get it open. Um... All right, so let me show you what we're doing here, what I'm looking at. Here it is, baby. So if we did the apple, oh, you guys, look at that, though. I'm intrigued to know what your puddings are, as they are not what we call puddings in the UK. Slide the wagon so we can see them. Oh, sorry, Miss, Miss Linda. So that's the apple. God, why is it so stinking dark?
There we go. So that's the apple. And then this is kind of like, I don't know, what do they call this thing? Oh, that's not going to lay nice, y'all. So that's not going to work. And then here's like a pumpkin. And then this is just the blingy pumpkin. So that's the blingy pumpkin. Again, a little bulky. So I would say either the apple or that pumpkin. So either the pumpkin or the apple. Cornucopia, that's what it is. Yep. Apple, apple. Okay, so it looks like everybody likes the apple. Yep, love the apple. Cornucopia, I can't think of it. Y'all, I know what this whole weekend with me and words, whoo. Me and words this whole weekend have not been friends. I cannot. Cannot get it together. It's so cute to look at. It ha even has like the little bite, <laughs> the bite marks, if you will. Okay, so let's get some B7000. Uh, what's touching? Just the edges and the leaf. Okay. Yes, yes, they are, Miss Linda. They're totally dazzled. And then um, if anybody has their, uh, if anybody here is an affiliate and you'd like to put in your affiliate, by all means, go ahead. <laughs> Those of you who know my evil smile, no. <laughs> all right. I just put a little bit of, whoa. Hot glue on there just for instant stick. And then the um, B7000 will keep it, keep it there. Ah, or not. Let's do that again. Let's wipe that off. Oh, you guys are, oh, ooh, you see that? I almost took a baby wipe, y'all. Let's do that again. Um, and hopefully not have it slip out of my hands this time. What is pudding in the UK? There we go. You have more substantial puddings. Hmm. Troy likes the snack packs. He doesn't like like the um the Jello, you know, brand where you just or you put or just putting his period in the fridge. Um, he likes the snack packs, which kind of I don't like hot pudding. <laughs> But he he doesn't like it. He doesn't like the cold the cold puddings. Um, so you know. And the snack packs um are aren't they aren't kept in the the refrigeration aisle. Ooh, this one's a little bit more like dented in that area. Hi, Miss Beth. Hi, Cindy. Roly poly. Huh? All right. Did we kill the other side? Oh, I like it. Look how pretty. Very pretty. Okay. So now we will put that to the side because I think for the most part, the outside of the wheelbarrow is done. Uh, we will, you know, 
put the other stuff in and then deal with it later. Okay, I'm going to regret this and possibly need to repent later, but what the heck is... It, what did I miss for Miss Linda to ask that question? Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, I did, Cindy. I did. I, I totally, that was so, that was such a weird time to read that. <laughs> Ooh, that was really strange. <laughs> Anyways, how about the gingerbread family? Um, I did go ahead and finish putting the gold buttons on all of them because when I mix that, um, when I mix the metal pigments, y'all, I mix so much and I didn't want to just do her bracelets and then like throw <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> And then throw it away. Um, so. <laughs> I'm just going to paint. I'm just going to paint. I don't even know what I'm doing now. Oh, Lord. Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. All right. So let's. Um, I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> Just confused. I'm just confused. Oh. Hmm. That was interesting. <laughs> Miss Linda, I'm gonna need to repent. I might need to repent later. Oh. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Anyways. Let's get her little bow. Oh, I don't know, Kathy. Just a regular chaotic day in the, you know, craft and chaos world, you know. Hi, Carol. How are you? <laughs> yes, Miss Linda. That's why when you said that comment, I was like, why is Miss Linda asking about that? <laughs> Oh, geez. Well. <laughs> God bless you, son. I think you just sneezed, didn't you? Let's see. Okay, Papa, so you got to wait, son. All right. Let's. I'm probably going to need to put on my glasses. My eye, I'm due to go, well, we're all due to go to the um, eye doctor in December. But, wow, I don't know if I can last that long. That giggle, I'd hate to see what's running through your mind. <laughs> uh. I, it, it, it was more confusion than anything, Miss Beth, because I know Miss Linda, and she, for her to have written that out, she probably was not sure if she should write that or what. Like, she wanted to know, I'm sure, but she was like, oh, goodness. God bless you, son. Okay. She's got a little bit of extra clay there. And then let's tighten that up a little bit. There we go. <laughs> she's cute. Well, she doesn't have a face yet, but she's cute. All right. 
So I think that was it for that. Now we have to do our little, our little, little doggy doggy doggy. How did the computer setup go? It, oh, Lordy B. So y'all remember I said, I said that um, he was probably doing a doozy in his room. So, um, oh, I already put the red on there. So I walk into his room and now I put on my prison hat and the warp sense of fever came out. Okay, that's, I forget about that side, Miss Linda. I know they are, aren't they, Miss Wanda? So I walk into his room and let's just put it this way. He was in there when I walked in there and he looked at me and went, All I could say was Troy, 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 Troy. <laughs> so everything, well, I didn't, well, mind you, there wasn't much on his desk, but whatever was on his desk was now on his bed. And then Nick was also setting up like um, his speakers. He had bought new speakers for his computer. So... Troy had speakers some time ago, and he remembered that, so he got into his closet to pull everything out to look for the speakers. Um, so yeah, it was a it was a sight. Let me tell you what it was a sight. But yeah, he just looked at me and smiled, just smiled, and you know. I mean, come on, you cannot get mad at that smile. I mean, you just can't. Um, hi, Nicole. So I put it all away and, you know, go on about my business. Well, mind you, y'all, he still didn't find the speakers that he was looking for. So I think I interrupted him. So I come back. And once again, everything was in the same mess that it was in when I cleaned it a, just a few minutes ago. And I was like, what? So I walk into our room and I go, Nick, what are you doing in here? And he looks at me like, what? And I said, what, what are you doing? What is Troy looking for? What are you doing? And so I realized what Nick was doing with the... Um, with the speakers and so the speakers were out here by the way not in the closet that he demolished twice uh so yeah oh it's not what did he got what didn't he get into is the thing he moved his computer from his desk out here to his desk in the room because he wanted to do what nick was doing and oh lordy b it was just craziness let me tell you what his room it was crazy looking and and i felt bad because he still he didn't get a tissue pops get a tissue and bring it to mommy so i can wipe your nose get a tissue right there at the kleenex box and he's still like I can tell he was still a little bit frustrated, if you will, because he wanted to do what, you know, um, by the way, he calls Nick Uncle Nick. Um, we don't call, it's very disrespectful to call adults by their first name. Um, so he calls him Uncle Nick. Well, he doesn't call him anything, but we refer him to him as Uncle Nick. So he wanted to have his stuff like Uncle Nick's and it just wasn't getting there. So we went on to Amazon and i started showing him some stuff and he got real excited because he knew that i had been figured out what he was trying to do so that should get here today so is it all still there or did he move it all no it's all still in his room it's all still in there because again like uncle nick has been like you know in the room like tinkering with his stuff you know the computer and stuff so and brother is in his room on his computer so of course troy troy's gonna be in his room on his computer 
So yeah, it's all still in there for right now. I was actually kind of surprised. Mm. I thought he would bring it out by now. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to wipe toy toy nose. Come here, Toto. Good job. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. So yeah. But that's why I tell I tell both of them, I said, you guys, you know. Mm. 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 Toy Toy's mm. standing back. Mm. He's taking notes. Mm. He's watching. Mm. 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 Okay, son, you could do that. So yeah, so hopefully Amazon will get here pretty soon and then he'll really know like okay, I got the same stuff now, you know. But because he kept going in there and he kept going, mm, mm. And because he wanted it, you know, he wants something. And he kept, mm, mm. And I was like, what? What's happening? What did I miss? Because usually I could figure it out and I couldn't figure it out. Then I realized Nick was in there tinkering around with stuff. And then I said, all right. Ah, I know, ah, Pops. Ah, ah, Oh, what? Um, you can't pull it anymore, Bubba's. You're going to pull it right out. Do you want the whole cord? Here. Uh, uh, well, uh, you just yelled at me to pull it out. Oh, Lord. Choi, Choi. They can hear you. They say hi. Our friends say hi, Choi, Choi. Okay, so we got the first little coat on him, and then we'll dry him and then put in, fix his sweater a bit more, put the black in his sweater, and then dry brush him. That is way down there. Gosh, I missed a little bit right here. Oh, and, and also today, another pair of earbuds are coming. <sighs> Thank you, Carol. Oh, I know. Hi, Ann. You just got to love them. <laughs> I'm like, honest. Please, I beg of you, please stop eating the earbuds. And I figured out he's not leaving them on the ground always. He does leave them on the ground, but not always. She's getting up on the couch and on the TV tray, and she's getting them off the TV tray. Little turkey. Okay, so now I'm going to take, um, actually, let's take the black. We'll live on the edge a little bit. I'm just going to cover these a little bit. Let's take the black and ah, and not stick my finger in there. The dog kind of reminds me of the one dog in Lady and the Tramp. He had a little sweater on him too. <laughs> and but I I said that I need to take out um like stock or something, man. These two and the doggone earbuds. It's getting a little bit crazy now. All right, so let's go over. Get two. Detail, but just kind of let it hit a little bit of the higher points, if you will. And then we'll dry brush it and it'll take care of the rest of the little details. Okay. Now let's give him some 
I was wondering if you had stock or maybe order a case. Shoot. And and the thing is with Troy Troy's like his he's got little ears, right? Well, he's a little guy. So he's got little ears. So he can't have like um you know the earbuds that have like the big like white the, like the cushion like the big like ear cushions because it's too big for his ear so he's got to have different ones and oh my word y'all <gasps> all right so now i actually do want a paper towel because I'm going to, actually, let's just make sure, because if that black isn't dry, that's not good. But I just, I'm like, I catch her every single time. I can hear when she... I can hear when she breaks it in her mouth, and I'm like, oh, Onyx, you've got another one. And sure enough, she's got it. Okay, let's do him. And then I try to hurry up and take it from her so he doesn't see her munching on it. But then it kind of, it's like a catch-22 because then he's looking for it. And, you know, he knows where he has just had it. So he's going crazy yelling at me. Well, you know, I say yelling at me, but, you know, his he's telling me, like, Mom, where is it? And I'm like, oh, it's in the trash. <laughs> So there's him, and then eh, I guess we'll use the same color. That little polka dot sweater oh, on her. It is cute, huh? Okay, and then let's get in here and go kind of this way. Okay. Gotta get his tushy. <laughs> He's cute. All right, and then let's, we gotta do a little bit on, wow, that was not a little bit. His pants here, that scares me. Picked up a lot. On his corduroys. You guys remember corduroys? <laughs> I liked corduroys because I liked the noise. When you walk the... <laughs> well, that's a thing though, Sue. So I did have a backup pair, right? And Mr. Smarty Pants found my hiding place for my back the backup pair so then after that i just now i've been like behind the eight ball and always like ordering right away when he when she gets to them but yeah can you i had it i had a backup pair and the next thing i know i see in troy's ear he has different colored than the blue that he had. And I'm like, where did you get? And then of course, what does he do? The smile, the smile. Hi, Mrs. King, how are you? You're not late. You are not late. 
he does the smile y'all and he just looks at me like hey, you thought you were slick mom and then not only did he do the smile but he did the for i love you you know it's the et finger yeah i'm like okay choi choi uh-huh i see you and then let's do a little bit on him oh it's crazy he's something else it's funny because i don't understand how he does it he will be nowhere near me and i will hide something the next thing I know, he's coming at me with it. He's coming and bringing it to me. It's like, how, what? You weren't anywhere in the room. Like, how? How? How did you know where that was? He, he just, I don't know. How did you even know I was hiding it, much less know where it was? That's Troy. It's amazing like that he does stuff like that all the time okay and then for her i'm not really going to hit her too much i'm just going to kind of go around her little dress here and then Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And then her bow. Just so not everything's so flat. <laughs> She's so cute. All right. Let's give her, let's give them all some faces now. And he needs an eyeball. Yes. Hi, Trina. How are you? Um, hi, Susan. Ginger and Spice. And I have a link for you guys in the description. Um, Tracy, what well, the last I looked, Tracy still had it on her website from Rap City Art Barn. Um, I did not check Mara. You can, I'm pretty sure Mara will probably have it too, but I just, I know that Tracy had it and her price was pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Good to have an eyeball. And then we'll try to give him a little dot. I don't know if we're going to be able to put a dot in there. He, it's a little, a little small. All right. So now with their faces, let's come whoa dude you don't want your eyeball getting all over the place let's stay right there all right now with their faces let's put my brushes in the soap for one and then let's get some okay Oh, okay, does she still have them? So Mara and Tracy both have them still. All right, so we have our brown. I'm going to get a little bit of pink out. This is... Oh, please don't. Thank you. And then we'll get a little bit of the cardinal red because the Boys don't need to have pink cheeks. And her little eyelashes. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see, but she has. Hold on. There you, oh, there you go. See her little eyelashes? So we're going to have to see if we can finagle a brush in there with a very fine tip. Uh, 
and I'm going to get the black on there and then I'm just going to roll it around to get the tip back as sharp as it can be and then come in here. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no, no squinting today, <laughs> you know, telling you. I can't hear, I can't see good. But I got good hearing. <laughs> All right. Let's get a little bit of her. There's something on that brush. You stinker. And then I can't see what these glasses on. Hold on, y'all. We need to find a good brush. Okay. There's like a little stray hair on that brush. Yes, exactly, Mama Herring. Can you guys see what I'm doing? All right. Exactly, but my eyes are all, all the 40, 48 and 49, might as well just say 49 now, 49 years old, because I cannot see worth poop, man. Does she not have eyelashes? Oh, there they are. They're, they're in here. not have eyelashes <laughs> she's so cute now i don't want to give her black eyebrows though man we're gonna have a lot of brushes tonight to wash Troy Troy. so let's just come in with the brown we were using and just do a straight brown without mixing and i'm pretty sure with the exception of the two pinks that the color names and everything are all in the description y'all that's too much too much too much and then she needs a little bit of an eyelid And if you have acrylic pins, there's nothing wrong with using acrylic pins. Might be easier. My porch is stained, not painted, will not last one year. Can I try doing her eyelashes? I couldn't find a small enough brush. Yeah, if you have the nail brushes, I have a couple of them up here. I don't know where they are. But because for nail art, they're super, super tiny, um, those would work too. But the easiest would be just to grab, like I said, to grab, um, if you have the acrylic pens, just grab the acrylic pens. Oh, Lordy B, she's got eyelashes too, y'all. What the heaven? What color do we do her eyes, their eyes? And got to get her eyelid. Is my brim of my hat in the way? I, I can't tell. You know, I can't even see. We got to do their eyes a certain color. Green eye. Ooh, green eyes. I just use a fan brush. Um, I have several detail brushes. That's what these little brushes are. They're amazing. Um, they actually have very tiny... Um, points on two of them but i think i just where's his other eyebrow oh there it is 
but I, um, you know, as soon as I use a brush, I throw it in the doggone water. So that's why I have probably at least a good, whoa, 300 brushes over here. It's just a habit. I use it and toss it in the water. Hey, he's so cute, too. All right, let's get you a little nose. We don't need it to be so dark. And then come on, Pops. Come over here, Papas. And then... Get your eyebrows. Let's turn you this way. The ridges are actually the detail is pretty good so that if you have a fine pointed brush and you just kind of just, you know, almost like a dry brushing, just hit the high points, at least on the, the mother, the mom and dad, the little guys are a little bit harder because their detail is a lot smaller, but Now they're getting a little face. I have not tried them yet. Yeah. Yeah, Miss Betty. I There's probably, I would say, at least 300 brushes here. Right here. There's somewhere over there. I don't know. I got problems with everything. Y'all know that by now. I have a great issue. Okay, we need a green, but we need like a good green. Like, uh, I don't know. Oh, wow, you guys are finding good things at the dollar, the Dollar Tree or the Dollar General? This one, yeah? The Dollar Tree or the Dollar General, you guys are seeing all of these sales. No, that's one thing I, I have, I always get brushes. I just... Because, you know, especially like on the little detail brushes, as soon as you get one or a couple, two little hairs, because now the brush guards, right, are great for the medium and the large brushes. But then when you get small brushes like this, the brush guards, you know, don't clamp them. So... But... Let's see. I'm worried about, oh, it is in there. Okay. I was going to say, I'm worried about the bridge of my brim. My was putting my head in there too far. Sorry. Can you guys see his green eyes? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, they're coming to life.
Oh my goodness. Dollar General. Okay. We've got two really good Dollar Generals over here. Oh, I didn't give her eyelashes, y'all. Hold up. I see her eyelashes on this side. Where are they over here? Oh, there they are. Okay, I see it. <laughs> I know, I do. That's why I have to put at least my cheaters on. Oh my goodness gracious, they're so stinking cute. I believe I didn't buy these right away. Okay. And then let's give them a little bit, some little lippies. I know, aren't they? Okay, let's give them some little lippies. Thank you. Am I not even? <laughs> she can't be as bright as her. Okay. Um, let's see.
<laughs> um, hi, Deborah. I got these at um, Rap City Art Barn. I put a little, I put a little, I put the link down in, or you're on Facebook, up in the description. Um, and if, I'm pretty sure Tracy still has them at the Rap City Art Barn. If not, the Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara still has them. All right. So now for these guys, though, I don't want them to have pink lips. That would be really strange. So let's get... And this one is, I think, this one is Mars Brown. Tracy has none left. Wow, guys. Okay, so VintageRetailTherapy.com has them. Oh, <laughs> y'all, I can't. I just can't. They're so stinking cute. All right. Get these guys out. Thank you. Sue just put in the um, link for them at the Vintage Retail Therapy. I should have put both of them in there. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't. I couldn't see how many Tracy had, but I know when I looked on Friday, she had some. And I exited out, but whoever told me that I switched those lids and didn't notice it when you said that. Um, but yeah, so thank you. I didn't even realize that I switched the lids. Okay, so let's clean these up and get all of this eye stimulation off of my desk because it's very distracting. Um, but uh, the couple of colors that I did use today, I will, if you want to message me, I can give them to you or I can add them later. All right, let's clean this mess up. Ah, oh, sugar. We need to get him a dot in his eye, don't we? All right, let's see if I got an itty-bitty dotting tool. If not, I'm going to... Well, I don't know if I have a small enough dotting tool for his eye. Hold on. I was just getting the link to get me to... Aw, thank you, Lou. All right. Ah, that worked. <laughs> All right. Now we can clean up this mess and let's get our hay bales and our other stuff in there. So these should be good to go. Yep, they're dried and good to go. Looks like I missed a little bit right here to wipe off. Okay. Mm, little family. Let's come over to the side for a minute. And again, these are all done with Form Flex. Um, as you see, I did not paint the back. I'm going to have to. Uh, I will do that. Um, off screen and I'm just going to probably just do all brown in the back. Um, all right. So what I'm thinking though for here, let's put down some little bit of sizal first. Again, more messy stuff see how much of this i want down and then 
cut it like a haircut. But honestly, sizal is just once you cut it, it's so messy. And then um, we'll cut like little burlap. Okay, I'm going to cut this over my trash because I know it's going to get messy. All right, put that over there. Okay. Actually, I don't even need that much. I just want like a little something down. Are you guys in? Nope. Okay. And again, these I just got at the, um, they're going to make a mess. Hold on. I just got these at the Dollar Tree. Woo! Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah. Definitely do not open that, um, we want them that way. Well, if we want them to sit or who do not open that uh, on your desk, y'all, because all the little pieces came flying out into my trash like a big puff. Good, cuddly, muggly. Um, I don't know about that. I'm not going to take off. I don't think that's supposed to come off anyways, the silver. Yeah, it just went oof. Oh, I'm excited about the class too, Trina. I'm super excited. Okay, now I want a little bit. I think I've had this big old burlap piece for ages. I mean, ages. If anybody needs burlap, uh, let, let me know. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, why did I choose to get all this stuff with, um, I just want like a little, little bit. Why did I get all the messy stuff? Okay, so now the thing is about these guys, right? I was going to bend them, and I'm pretty sure I can. Oh, my gosh, y'all. But I need to paint them first. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I can't. Oh, my goodness, I just can't. How cute would it be to bend them on the... Hi, Jennifer Swindoll. I know crafting is super messy. Um, how cute would it be to bend, him, bend them to sit them on there? Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Because they will, they'll bend. I just need to paint the back of them. So what I'll do is I'm going to bend. Well, let's see. 
All right, hold on. Let's see. How are we going to do? Because we have other stuff to put in here. We will obviously need to stand him up, but. Or do we just have the kids standing on the hay? You guys can't see. Do we have them standing just behind them? Hey, she's taller. She must be older. All right. Anyways, we need to get other stuff in here. <laughs> I'm excited about them standing. Okay. Hi, Troy boy. Where did you go? You leave me. We got some pumpkins. Where's the acorns, y'all? Oh, some acorns. Oh, we have a small hay bale for the doggy. Oh, my gosh. Remember, y'all, I have the small ones. The little woo-woo can have his own hay bale. What are they made of? What are what? But what? 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 Julie? What's what made of? Look. So these are from Hobby Lobby, I think. <laughs> He's gonna have his own <laughs> All right. So we need to stand everybody up. What time is it? Is it time for me to let you all go yet? I'm sorry. I'm getting a little excited. Let's see. They're so adorable. If I remember correctly, they will marry each other. Um, the mom, the dad, and the, the boy will mirror each other. But the little girl, because of her bow, she doesn't mirror. However, if you take her bow off or, you know... And the dog doesn't mirror. So, obviously, here's the little boy. He's not painted, right? Actually, I might just do that. So, you can, right, they mirror just fine. But the little girl, because of her bow, see what happens? Right. So, you can actually take her bow off and then, you know, put, like, another tiny bow on her head like a, a real bow um but because the mom and dad don't have anything that they'll mirror fine uh the dog will not mirror because uh you know obviously he has he's not so almost everything mirrors um but yeah they they uh So what I might do is just make more of these guys then, because if we're going to scan them, actually, no, won't that be weird? Should I mirror them? Or would that be weird to have them looking that way too? I know, Bubba's your Amazon will come soon, son. All right, so let's stand them up. All right, let's do this. And then look at, remember, we have these pretty acorns. And then also... We have the pumpkins, so let's get the pumpkins in here. Do not mirror. Well, I don't know about gingerbread cookie that has a mirror unless there's cream in the middle. Yes, it, this is form flex. Yeah, no, I was saying it would be really, it would be super cute to, like, if this was actually set up on, you know, a centerpiece in your table, and then all of this stuff was edible. If you make cookies out of it, oh, my God, that would be so cute. And then they would be able to take it and eat it. Okay, so let's do, all right, let's get this down. So I'm just going to put you guys right here. Hey, wrong one. And then... I'm going to have to stabilize these guys more. What I'm going to have to do is cut into this a little bit. But for just for the sake of showing you guys now, we'll go ahead and put a little bit. But I'll probably end up putting his feet um, 
into the hay bale a little bit just to get them down in there. And actually, I'm going to need to. because he won't hold up just freestanding like that based on just a little bit of hot glue. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for now, they'll be fine, but they'll need to be grounded better. Put small ones behind them. Is that what you said? Yeah. That would be cute. And have them both grounded to the small one. Let's do it like that. Oh, that would be cute. And then I can actually... Put like a pumpkin behind them too. I'll paint the backs of them. I'm going to have to paint the backs of all of them. All right, all right, all right. Don't go. Don't go all cuckoo crazy right now, please. I will paint the backs of all of them. And, well, you guys know I always finish my projects. I don't ever, I don't ever let them. Actually, they'll just stand. Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta have her bling out in front. Oh my gosh, I can't, y'all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hi, Gwen. Thank you, Miss Kathy. No, I finished my projects. I don't talk a big game. Watch him come out. <laughs> I don't talk a big game and then don't finish. Hmm. Should we do one or two? You guys can't see. Hold, please. See, this is what happens when you guys, you know, when you have somebody that has 7,200 cameras um, at their disposal. Hold on, y'all. Let me get you guys. I need to get backstage. Two? Okay. What? Okay, hold on. 
Okay, so we'll put the two there and then. Are you serious, StreamYard? I'm trying to get you guys on the camera so you can see the front. Zero, zero, two, zero, six, seven. And it's being difficult. All right, finally. Sorry. Yeah, odd numbers would be better. However, um, that might be a lot, no? Okay, so let me, hold on. Okay, so now let me put this back here. If I put a, see all of those, y'all? <laughs> if I put a third one, wouldn't that be too much? I think a I think three in this case is going to be too much. So I think we leave it the two, and then you could see them kind of there, and then we put um you know our little our put in our more of our pumpkins whoops and stuff like that. Maybe behind them, behind these. I just think it's going to be too cluttered, but you guys can tell me. I, I just don't. Oops, sorry. Just two, yeah? I, yeah, two, three is like, it's it's overkill, I think. it It's just, it, the space doesn't call for to have that many. Oh my God, now how did I have this? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, my Lanta. I am a mess. Okay. And then the little woo-woo. You got to have the little woo-woo. And then and the pumpkin. A little pumpkin. Whoa. No. No woo-woo. I'm not gluing the um, these two, the three of them down just so I can paint the backs. And then... I don't know. Should we? I don't. I love these, but I think the scale of them are just a little too big. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we just. I don't know. I think the scale of the the acorns might be a little too big. I think we just do the pumpkins. All right. Now, um, you guys can kind of you see what I where I'm going with this. <laughs> I'm holding it with one hand. What a mess. I'm a mess, y'all. All right, let's go this way. And then do this one. There we go. Okay, so yeah, mixed media doesn't have a scale, but do you think that maybe... I love the colors of these. That's why I kind of want them in there, but I'm thinking that it's not going to. They don't look right anywhere. I don't know, y'all. They just don't look right anywhere. Okay, I have also the flat maples, but I don't know. No acorns. 
This is so stinking cute. I love it. I love the acorns. I love them too. I just don't know. Maybe we just stick them. I, I need to glue them down in order for them to look right, of course, but I just don't know where to glue them at. That makes it look like he... <laughs> Maybe I have to glue them so that they're kind of standing up. You think? Yeah, all right. Just two big, just do pumpkins. Could you brush some of the gold? Can you brush some gold on the pumpkins? Yeah. Are you talking about like just that one though? So how about I do this? Look, that pumpkin, I don't know what's going on with the ribs, but look it. See, the ribs are better on... Can you see now the ribs on that have like a gold? Yeah, I know. All right, so now do we need anything else? Because I do have like the ribbons and all of that stuff and I have the flowers, but, and these guys will actually not be leaning like this. They're gonna be up a little bit more. Um, so yeah, that pumpkin was better. So it's, I just have them leaning right here until I can get the backs of those painted. But, oh, my God, you guys, I think it's so cute. And then we will also, um, hey, get away from my pumpkins, little girl. Those are my pumpkins. No. And then also, um. Put one right here by their feet. By their feet. So, thank you. Hi, Annette. Oh, we're doing good. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Oh, uh, thank you, Miss Donna Sue. Okay, so that's pretty much it, y'all. I just have to stand them up after I paint the back of them, and then um, I don't know. I think we're I think we're good. So we'll leave it like that i don't even know what's happening here okay oh uh, thank you i'll try to hold it up so if you remember so we have our apple on the side and our little stencil which i think was perfect you guys i'm glad that you guys said we just, we did it that way. Oh, the woo-woo fell again. And then our little woo-woo and their family. And then, like I was saying, they are going to be up this way. So they'll be, proportionately, they'll be better as far as, like, where they are. They won't be so far back in the wheelbarrow, if you will, because they'll be standing up. So... I love them. I just love them. I think they're so cute. Look at their little faces. Oh, my gosh. It's all adorable. Yeah, they do bend, but we, that's what I was saying. Should we bend them or stand them up? But that's why I, I we glued them standing. So, but yeah, you could totally bend the um, form flex. You know, within reason, like, don't bend it in half. It's going to, it will crack in the back. But you could totally bend it. And actually, when you're drying them, you could probably, because um, they're still, you know, pliable, you could probably, as they're drying, kind of have them in that bent state a little bit. And it would, it would do, it would be great. But, yeah, so, y'all, we have, oh, my gosh, I have so many projects to finish. I have secret projects that i'm doing i have oh my god you guys have to wait oh i can't wait to show you what i what i did this weekend i was like pretty i was pretty amazed it can't it i was pretty amazed i can't wait to show you guys but um so i think 
I still have to do um, at least one more Halloween project because I have this really cool velvet tree. So, secret. This is secret. I don't know what my computer's doing over here. It's a secret. I can't tell you guys. It's a secret. But, um, so I think we are going to maybe um, tomorrow either do the last Halloween project that I will probably do for this year. And then, yes, Miss Linda. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And usually I don't, you know, do this to myself because, you know, I'm always like, yeah, you know, that could have, mm, that could have been a little better. You could have done this differently. But this time I was like, <laughs> you nailed that one. You nailed that one. Um, so, yeah. So um, tomorrow we will work on probably, um, like I said, something Halloween-y. Um, unless I change my mind tonight, which is very mm -hmm. possible. But then I have so many Christmas stuff. I have stockings to do. I have the sleighs to do, the snowmen to do. I really want to do the snowmen because of their things. But anyway, so I'll have to figure that out. But I hope you guys have a nice evening. Uh, the rest of your Sunday, I will be off to do laundry. <laughs> So exciting. And me and Troy Troy are going to box. So if you purchase the class, Troy Troy and I, um, and you, you purchase the class with the kit, we are going to pack those up today. Remember, you still have until the 4th if you want to sign up for the class. And if you are wondering what I'm talking about, it's going to be this bag. Um, well, so this bag. And then it's going to have the matching um, accessory bag. So, and then these were made especially for the class. So you can either choose that monogram or you can do that one. So you still have until the 4th to pay for the class. Um, if you want to join it, it's going to be on Zoom. And you'll be working along with me live. It will be recorded. We aren't broadcasting live, but we'll, it'll be recorded. You'll be able to work along with me, um, ask me questions. You can be on camera if you want to set up a camera. Um, you can just have voice, but we're all going to work together and, you know, do the bags together, um, embellish. Obviously, you will personalize it. You will tell me what letter you want. I can send you the kit, or you can just do the download, or you can just take the class and use the, um, you know, what we're doing and use it on your own supplies. Totally up to you. Um, if you want information, Sue, just put the group in there, which is, um, that is just the group for you to get information. It's no obligation. But if you pay for the class, then I put you into the actual group where um, the recording will live forever for you to replay as many times as you want. Um, the class is $18 alone, or it is um, $34.90, which includes the class, the kit, and shipping. And then if you just want the downloads by themselves, they are. Two forty-five each, and if you want me to print them and mail them to you, they're three ninety each. All of that information is in the group, though. So if you want to, you know, sign up, go into the group. Anyhow, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. Thank you for spending some time with me today and my craziness. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye.